As you finish each, I like to add a little bit of lightweight things, kind of nestle over the top. This is dill, and it just adds almost a weed-like effect over the top of the other flowers. Plus, it smells wonderful. It'll enhance the dining table. And then, as you finish, set it aside. and move on to your smaller cubes. I always start with the big ones because then you can use leftover little pieces. Although I didn't have a lot of leftover, but anything that is, I can use into the smaller pieces. Do a larger piece in the mid-size, little bits in the baby cube. Going back to some leftover of the Nandina. Breaking it down. And then just sliding it down in, making sure that the leaves don't go into the water. And the baby cube. And then going back, even just the bare branches and leaves can be so pretty. Just setting that down in. This branch didn't have a lot of berries, but the leaves are so pretty, I'm going to go ahead and use them just to bring that color in. And then going back with flowers for the baby one, just itty bitty short sunflowers. Doesn't take very much. Maybe a single rose. And then for the little larger, maybe a lily bloom rather than a stem. And then the rose. And you can see, you can mix and match. They don't all have to match. They can be all just a tiny bit different. Maybe doing just a portion of the rose hips, not the whole branch. Setting that down in. Another portion. So that the colors all match and mix and match together. You know, it just is so much more fun when you don't have to worry about precision in design. You just say, hmm, I think I want to use a little of this and a little bit of that. And when you're done, you have a little bit of fabulous. As you complete all the pieces, you just pull them back together. Set a tablecloth down and then add each of the designs, artistically placing them. And yes, I made a large one. Could end up on the buffet table. Or for now, I could add it and I think, oh, nope, this one goes over here. And this one goes over here. This is what I love about component design. It becomes interactive and it changes with your mood or fancy. And then I always like to add manipulatives. Maybe it's little balls that just sat down with. And that way people have something to touch when they visit. I also like to collect rocks. And rocks could be a fun manipulative to add. Carrying on that organic nature. Tossing them around. Then if you like willow, go back and add willow into things. But look how fun it is to just use a little bit of everything you can find, the essence of the harvest, to create a beautiful tablescape of components. A little bit of feasting table fun for the holiday season. How many do you need? How many vessels can you find? You can never have too many. If they don't all fit on the table, set one on the coffee table, maybe on the end table, maybe on the bedside table, maybe in the powder room. I love having just dozens of components filled with flowers in the house. Nothing makes me happier. So for you, gather up however many vases you can find. Go out and find those autumn leaves, the branches, the berries that may be outside that you didn't even think about. 
and then just add in a few flowers and you'll have a feast for the eyes. For more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you've got questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can use the telephone at 1-800-819-8089. And if email is easier, use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Happy autumn, happy Thanksgiving, happy feasting, and do something you love.